exactly. But I think I know by what. I have one in my own kitchen. A ceramic knife. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm more of a drive through type of guy. <laughs> well, a ceramic knife doesn't dull like a regular one, and believe it or not, they can be twice as hard as steel. So why were there uh, fragments of ceramic in the wound? Because ceramic knives are strong, but they're not invincible. So if you twist or you pry it, it's going to snap. I think if you wedge it between two bones. But Kelly and Eric didn't find any ceramic knives at the house. The party was catered, right? So maybe the catering company used them? Yeah. Eric, hey, it's me. You at the Lambert house? Ryan said that me and Fernandez bought Jonah a scuba diving kit for his trip. All scuba diving kits, they have one thing in common, a knife. A ceramic knife? Yeah. Ceramic doesn't rust, so it's great for deep sea dives. ...with melt and vaporized ceramic material to protect both metal and ceramic engine components. These new engine components will allow us to create the next generation of gas turbine engine technology. The plasma is then created from the torch, which extends the length of the chamber. The temperature of this flame can reach 6 to 10,000 Kelvin, which both melts and vaporizes our ceramic material. The vaporized material condenses onto the target substrates, and the coating is created. After the run, the chamber is brought back up to pressure, and the samples are removed for testing. 